So in this video, I'm showing you an acrylic design full set from start to finish, including all my prep work. So start off using my metal double-sided cuticle pusher. This is from Bang Good Nail Supplies. It's a really, really good cuticle pusher. Um, they're really cheap to buy off that website, but they are really good. So first I just use a flat end to push back that skin and scrape any of the non-living tissue off the nail plate. If you do get any little bits that are still stuck to the nail plate, you can turn the tool around and use the sharp end just to scrape those little bits away. I do just show you each little section like this on a few nails. So it's all the same um, and I don't want you to get bored while you're watching it. I then move on to filing, so I use a 180 grit file just to file the natural nail, etch that shine, literally just floating the file over the surface of the nail, I'm not really applying any pressure and just shape that free edge as well. You really need to get that prep work spot on, if there's no skin or no shine left on the nail then you, as long as you apply your acrylic properly, the nails will last. Prep is so, so important, so it needs to be spot on. So I'm then applying my Glitter Planet pre-pinched square tips, just using a tiny bit of CJP gripper glue to adhere them. Uh, pull them down the nail and then make sure they come out nice and straight and just secure those wings with your nails. Um, you can get 10% off their products as well using my discount code PILGRIM10. All their products are an absolute bargain anyway, absolutely love them. So I then come in with my tip cutters, always keeping the blade facing away from your client and cut to the desired length. Then come in with my stalk scissors and just cut those edges off to create a nice ballerina shape. And this really saves you time um, when it comes to filing and in your overall set by cutting these wings off and getting your shape in nice and quick with your stalk scissors. I then come in with my 150 grit file just to refine those sidewalls, get your nice crisp shape, make sure the sides are all nice and even. Um, tidy up your free edge and neaten that and make it nice and sharp. And then I do just blend the wings of these tips as well, um, just so that your product goes on nice and smooth and you've got no little bits sticking up.
And then come in with my CJP Acid Primer and apply that to all the nails. And as you can see, one dip into the primer does more or less cover all the nails. So next I come in with my Big Boy Brush and CJP Crystal Glass and apply a thin clear base to all the nails. Just make sure you are keeping it nice and thin. You don't want to create any bulk at this point. You're just creating something that you can file back to when your client comes back in for an infill. So on this nail, I'm applying CJP Vanilla Shine, one of my all-time favourite CJP products. It was the first powder that I bought from them. So apply quite a large bead, get it all pushed down that nail, making it nice and smooth, blending the back of that bead in with your natural nail so you've got no shadowing when you come to apply your cuticle bead. And with this powder, once I've picked up the bead, I do drain the liquid out of the back of the brush um, just to create a nice dry bead so it's nice and easy to work with. I just keep running my brush over that bead so it's nice and smooth. And then I come in with my cuticle bead. Always, once I've applied the bead, I wipe any excess liquid out of my brush as well so I'm not adding any more liquid into that bead. Uh, and as you can see, I get my brush right behind that bead and blend it up into my first bead. Checking my nail from all angles to make sure my apex is in the right place. And if you do need to add any more powder, you can. Um, and Vanilla Shine is a strength powder, so if you're doing a full nail of it, you don't need to cap. So on this nail, I'm coming in with Glitter Planet Glitters 24K and Copper Rust, I think it is. Um, applying that with a tiny, tiny bead of crystal glass just in the centre of the nail and fading it up towards the tip and then down towards your cuticle area. Uh, this is going to be a base for some hand-painted nail art. Um, and once I'm happy with all that glitter placement and that it's nice and faded and you've got no harsh lines or anything like that, then I come in with quite a large bead of crystal glass, place it on the nail, push up into your cuticle area, getting that brush right behind your bead and then walking the rest of the bead down the nail with the belly of my brush. Again, checking my apex from all angles and if I need to add any more glitter then I can. Uh, I use the new apex so my apex is always in the back third of the nail and I am pinching these nails so I'll just give the nail a quick squeeze to make sure it's not sticky but it's pliable uh, and then apply my pinching tool and this nail is, again, just a full nail of CJP Vanilla Shine.
So on this nail, I'm coming in with CJP Snow White at the tip. Um, getting that brush just covering, the, sorry, the bead just covering the tip. And then turn your brush around. And while that bead is still nice and wet, fade that white down towards your cuticle area. And this is the key to a nice, seamless, white, faded ombre nail. Um, just tidy up that tip area, making sure your product's nice and even and nice and smooth. I then come in with a small bead of Vanilla Shine at the cuticle area. And as you can see, I'll place the cuticle bead down, push it into place, and then I'll literally just fade sort of the top of the bead so as you can see i've slowed this down a little bit so you can see exactly what i'm doing literally just pulling the very top of the bead over the y rather than dragging the whole bead that you've placed there over the y uh, i find by doing this you create your nice seamless blend and you keep the bulk of your nude product in your cuticle area so once i'm happy with that blend i come in with those two glitters again um, from the Glitter Planet, the 24K and Copper Rust, just picked up with a tiny bead of crystal glass, so I'm not adding any extra bulk to the nail. Um, and I just place those in the centre and just drag it down to one side into the cuticle area and then up the opposite side into the tip bit of a S shape just to tie this design all together. I do like a design that flows nicely. And then when I'm happy with that glitter placement, I'll just cap with crystal glass. So on this nail I'm applying just a small bead of Vanilla Shine right in the middle just on that join where the natural nail joins the tip and then I'm just fading it up towards the tip and then turning my brush around and fading it down towards the cuticle. I'm then going to come in with some, it's like a gold copper leaf, um, or just off eBay, I will leave the link to it in the description box and just place little pieces of that leaf all over that nail. And again, once I'm happy with that placement, I will cap in crystal glass. So on to my filing technique again, I hope I don't bore all my regular YouTube watchers with this. It is exactly the same on every single set, but I do like to keep it in, obviously for any newbies that are watching my videos. So I start off just refining those sidewalls and my free edge, holding my file nice and flat so it's nice and sharp and crisp. And then come in around the sidewall areas, round the cuticle and up the other sidewall. And then down the barrel of the nail. Always checking the nail from all angles to make sure my apex is in the right place. Um, I imagine sort of a straight line from cuticle to free edge, sort of in the middle of the nail. Look down your and check the sort of both sides of the line are nice and even. Um, otherwise your nail will look bulky 
and unrefined and you don't want that you don't want any wonky nails um, so I will just let you watch I'll come back in when I need to So I've really slowed this bit down and here you can see I'm showing you down the barrel of the nail that all the products even on both sides and you can see the thickness of that free edge. So you need to keep this all nice and even and flowing. And now my apex from my side view. So as you can see my apex is in the back third of the nail. It comes out and up from that cuticle area up here to my apex there and then straight out and down to the free edge really hope this helps i've had a lot of people um, asking recently so once i've finished filing i remove all that dust with a dusty brush uh, wipe over with isopropyl alcohol to get any little last bits of dust and then I'm coming in with my Chiara Sky No Wipe Top Coat just applying a nice thin layer to all the nails really making sure you cover all that nail uh, and cure in my LED lamp for 60 seconds So on this nail I'm creating a hand painted design, um, this set was inspired by a picture off the internet that my client brought in, I'm not 100% sure who the artist was so I can't credit it but I did kind of make this freehand design up a little bit as I went along. So I'm using my Crystal Nails Barbara 2 brush which is perfect for fine line work and I'm using the Gel Bottle 3D Paint in white. So I'll just let you watch really. I don't normally do much hand painting either so please bear with me but I just wanted to record something a little bit different. Um, I do find the key to fine line work like this is a nice light touch um, to keep your lines nice and thin.
I did then just flash cure halfway through my design for 10 seconds um, so I didn't go and smudge it or ruin it or anything like that. I'm happy with that design. I cure to attack free finish in my LED lamp for 60 seconds. I then come in and use some CJP gripper glue and my crystal katana just to stick a couple of rose gold Swarovski crystals just to finish that design off. And here's your finished look. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it.